So in this video, we will find the area of a of two curves using integration by the use of horizontal and vertical strip. So we have two formulas in that vertical strip and horizontal strip. So sa vertical strip, yung mga functions natin ay dapat naka-express in terms of x. So for in this example, sa picture meron tayong dalawang function, yung f of x tsaka yung g of x. And then by the use of vertical strip, kukuha tayo ng portion sa bounded region ng dalawang function na yon. Any point or any part of that bounded region pwede natin kuhan eh. So from the formula, we have the function upper minus function lower. In this case, yung function upper natin is obviously yung f of x and the lower function is g of x. So we have also to need to learn or to identify the limits involved in that in the two bounded in the bounded region. So in terms of x x sub 1 or x sub 2. So in in this case we have the limits from a to limit b. Same thing also sa pagkuha natin ng horizontal strip, ng area using horizontal strip. So, in this example, we have two functions. Yung first function is a parabola that opens to the right and parabola and a line y plus 1. And we have also to find the limit. So, by using horizontal strip, we need to subtract the two functions and to identify the two limits that is from the y sub 1 here from at this point and the y sub 2 up to this point so for our sample problem we need to find the area bounded by the curve y squared is equal to 8 times x minus 4 the line y is equal to 4 y axis and the x axis so in the steps in finding the area bounded by these curves are the following. So step one is to draw the curves or the lines. So number two is identify the strips to be used. Three is to identify the limits. And four is to solve using the formula discussed in the past slide. Uh, dito sa graph natin, papakita natin ngayon yung graph ng lahat ng function na involved sa problem. So we have the, the, the given parabola that opens to the right the line y is equal to 4 the y axis or equal to x is equal to 0 and the y axis or x axis rather x axis which is equals to y is equal to 0 so for our first step we have drawn the curves and the lines involved so may nabuo tayong uh, bounded regions nung apat na functions na nabanggit. So, for our next step, we have to identify that the strips that is needed to be used. So, ito, na-zoom in na natin yung uh, shaded region or the bounded regions involving all the functions. So, subukan muna natin yung vertical strip. So, kukuha tayo ng strip dito. So, Meron, tayo, meron dalawang involved na function which is yung line na y is equal to 4 and yung parabola. Pero kapag uh, kumuha tayo ng portion dito, ang dalawang involved na function na yung y upper niya, yung function upper niya which is y is equal to 4 pa rin. Pero pagdating dito sa lower function niya, nagbago na kasi yun yung x-axis. So hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yan kasi dapat sa equation, ang gagamitin natin dyan ay dalawang function lang dalawang function lang at dapat parehas lang yon sa lahat then pwede pa siguro kung uh, ahatiin natin yan itong, pwede pa siguro kung ahatiin natin dito kuhanin natin yung gumamit tayo ng vertical strip pero dapat alam rin natin kung ano yung value nito tapos kukunin natin yung area ng square square ba mabubuo dito or kung ano mang polygon na mabubuo natin dyan kukunin natin yung area and then pag add natin sa 
area na nakuha natin using vertical strip. Pero matrabaho pa yon So, hindi natin gagamitin yan. Ang gagamitin natin is yung horizontal strip. So, dito makita nyo na dalawang function lang yung, invo yung involved all throughout the shaded region. So, so kunyari dito ako kumuha ng vertical strip. Dalawang function lang yung y-axis at saka yung parabola. Pag dito naman, ganun pa rin. Parabola at saka yung y-axis. So, therefore, ang, ang gagawin natin, gagamitin nating strip is yung horizontal strip. Na dapat, ang functions ay naka-express in terms of y. So, number 3, sa step natin is to identify the limits. So, dito, given na yung y is equals to 4, given na rin yung x-axis which is equals to y is equals to 0. So, therefore, di na natin kailangan i-equate pa yung mga lines and apatin mismo yung parabola para makuha yung limits. Dahil given na naman, tsaka obvious na naman na kung ano yung, fun, yung limits na kukunin natin. And, ayan, makita mo nyo, from y is equals to 0 to y is equals to 4. So, therefore, ang limits natin is 0 and to 4. So, for our last step, we have to solve finally for the problem using our formula. So, alam na natin na horizontal strip yung ginamit natin. Dapat ang function ay naka-express in terms of y. At yung dalawang function na involved which are the parabola y squared times 8 times x minus 4 and the y axis which is also equals to x is equals to 0. So, ito naka-express na ng x in terms of y. Pero syempre, 0 nga yung value ng y. Pero ito hindi pa. So, express pa natin siya in terms of y. So, equate natin. And then, transpose yung 32. So, nakuha na natin yung express in terms of y value niya. So, yung, yun ay yung x is equals to y squared plus 32 all over 8. Since nakuha na natin yung limits, nakuha na rin natin yung uh, functions ng right tsaka functions ng left at naka-express na ito ng y then we just need to substitute all the values sa formula so yung function right natin is y squared plus 32 all over 8 minus 0 which is the y axis equals to y axis from the limit 0 to 4 so gamit na lang tayo ng calc -Q. So, um, equation. So, x squared plus 32 over 8. So, x squared ginamit natin dito kasi sa yung feature lang naman ng calculator nito is x lang, x lang yung ginagamit dyan. 0 to 4. Therefore, our value is 56 over 3 or 18.6 square units. That's it. Thank you. Uh, please visit the part two of this speed of this lesson for more example. Thank you.